Hello. I want to speak about food waste and the consequences and also the solutions to how we have as of yet or within my lifetime and many, you know, probably within the last century how we've created this society of waste. Um, and obviously, if you investigate um, or study this point of how the system operates, you realize that it is operating based on um, money, on profit. And it's been created to exist within the the um, dynamics of those who are considered the top or have the most money, which is, you know, owners of corporations. Um, those are probably the top people. They are only, well, I'm not speaking for every single person within that position, but most of them are only considering profit and how much money they can make. Um, because in a way they have a lot of influence and power within those positions and uh, they have structured this society to kind of get the most for the least amount of consideration or work. And it's not to say that the people that are in, you know, middle class and lower class uh, are not responsible because we've accepted and allowed this kind of society and system to be how it is. Um, we're all responsible within what has been created in this world and um, but for understanding to realize that uh, the way the system was designed was done within uh, inequality. As I was speaking, you know, middle class, higher class, lower class, in reality, these are just labels. They're just um, designed in a way to create a category for people. When in reality, we're all human beings, we're all on the planet, we're all living off the same resources, we're all living off of the earth. Um, and we each require the same needs. We each require food, we each require shelter, we each require health care. Every single person, even animals, require this. So to create a system where there's inequality is obviously not what's best for all. And, um, you know, as I've been studying this system, I've realized that what is best for all is the solution. It's, it considers all people, it, it um, gives everybody enough sustenance to live, it gives opportunity for growth and expansion within our own unique expression and creativity. It provides the breeding ground or the birthing of new ways of living, new creations, new expansions into subjects that as of now we haven't been able to study or look at because most people are bogged down in survival. So there was a quote that I heard from someone else in the in the destiny process who spoke this was um, you know a child that is say in sub-saharan Africa with no means of able to live like starving or um, you know is very very poor they could have the cure for some disease or they could have the the invention inside of them for um, a way to make all life better but because our system is created in a way for this limitation of life uh, movement through survival, through money, how we've created the money system, these children aren't able to live to their highest potential. 
And that's the biggest tragedy. Um, not allowing, not creating the means for everyone to live their highest potential because within that, that creates a world of, oh, like, can't even imagine, like amazing um, expansion, amazing fun, peacefulness, harmony. Those are what's outflowed within living what is best for all. Now, the weight, the food waste that we've seen, you know, where Americans are dying of obesity um, because they eat, because of the way we eat, um, and those in sub-Saharan Africa who are dying of starvation that have absolutely no means of food, you know, that, that scenario right there is showing the, the example of the, the misalignments within our system. So it's, it is what it is here. We, we see the, the inefficiencies and the consequences that this is creating in the extreme cases of death and suffering that so many people are experiencing. Um, not even mentioning the, the earth's, um, how we're taking from the earth and not allowing the earth to regenerate itself in a way that is sustainable, but just taking too much and the earth's ending up, you know, suffering and becoming, um, you know, desert-like and, you know, all the consequences that are being created, the piles and piles of plastic in the oceans, um, because we create these little gadgets and things that are, that are not necessary, so within ourselves we have to first realize this point within ourselves that um, who are we within this inequality how do we treat and how do we consider life do we see it in equality how what is the process to get us get ourselves in a way that is walking equality with all life aligning to this principle of what is best for all aligning to solutions that will create this world and what is best for all because again what is best for all is a solution it, it considers all people it's the breeding ground for um, or is a birthing process of freedom expansion creativity everybody living to their highest potential everybody living in dignity everybody sustained um, so it's, it's this inner process that has to be walked as well as this outer process that has to be walked. Because if you see within yourself, there is much inner conflict that's going on. Um, for me, it was like self-judgment points, um, inadequacies I believed that myself to have. Um, and then within that, trying to compensate in my world by being superior, by living in um, this belief that I'm more than other people. And so living that out by abusing other people in ways and not considering people and creating conflict in my world. So this has walked on the Destiny I process um, to identify these patterns within self and change them into a, a way that is best for all. And then once that starts to be established, you open yourself up more to see the solutions that are here, that are available, that are being walked by many people. Um, you kind of align yourself with the solution. So um, we can start to correct these points of food waste that is going on and the, the plastic that's floating in the oceans and the, the poverty that's going on in other countries, the war. I mean, these are all solvable. These all have solutions. Just a matter of each one within ourselves aligning ourselves to that solution-oriented living. I mean, it's an actual change that has to manifest within each one. You have to align to solutions. You can't just um, stay as you are or stay as I was in self-judgment and... Um, believing that I'm more than other people because in my world I create that war, so to speak, that conflict in my world with other people. 
and if you're creating conflict and like battles with people in your world then how do you expect the global wars and battles to be solved it's it's not going to happen so the solution is within ourselves changing ourselves to align with what is best for all in our living in our actions in our words living our words being honest with ourselves changing ourselves being patient in that process of change because it takes years to do this um, but it's definitely worth it i mean <coughs> there's some movies that have been out that show the um you know examples of what utopian societies look like or idealistic societies look like and of course that's possible i mean the avatar movie where they align with nature and they have a connection with nature. They can communicate it with it. I mean, how amazing would that be to be able to be in the woods and communicate with trees, communicate with animals? I mean, that is here, that is available. Um, on Equaf, they, they go into the animal expression. They, they come through and speak. Um, so you have to be open to these things. You have to um, move yourself in an you know kind of expanding and moving through fears and judgments because these things will come up based on the way we've programmed ourselves and fear and beliefs and um, this has been structured in in our societies as well these programs of fear and separation through religions nationalities all that everything has to be redefined recreated and it will take a process it will take time but if you dedicate yourself to this point, doing what is best for all and never giving up on that, you will eventually walk into solutions. You will create solutions. You will be part of the solution. And within this comes rewards of um, sustainability, stopping food waste, um, finding solutions within your own life to stop the waste that you're creating. And then through that, you learn, connect with people that are also doing that. And then there is the ripple effect that will create the solutions for, you know, your town's waste and then your, nat your nation's waste problems. And then the global waste problem. All of that will be corrected as we correct ourselves within ourselves and stand as the examples of the solution, which is, again, what is best for everybody, what is best for all. So aligning yourselves with principles, living these principles, supporting yourself in the destiny I process, this is what I've walked and seen is um, one of the best ways to correct yourself in this world. Probably the only way, well not the only way, but it's one of the best ones that I've studied and walked and I suggest checking it out. They have the light course, which is a destiny I process light course. It's a beginner course if you've never heard of this or understood it and yeah let's stop ourselves within who we've become correct ourselves forgive ourselves that's a component as well forgiving forgiveness and recreating ourselves in the best way possible in the inner and then to the outer world so food waste all waste becomes a figment of the past and we recreate ourselves here and systems that are efficient, that are best for all, and that are practical within this reality. That's what I have for that, and thanks for listening. Check out the links below.